My name is Bob Rosinski, and I've always had problems pronouncing my name. When I was a little kid, I'd say, Bob Rosinski. People say, Barbara? No, and I'd say, Bob Rosinski. They say, Barbara? You sort of said that with a Russian accent. Well, uh, my origin is uh, Eastern Europe. So there's a lot of Polish, a lot of Russian, Ukraine, uh, on the maternal side, Austria, uh, and Latvia. Well, I'll be 63 in December 2021. My wife and I and daughter have lived in Florida, Central Florida, and for numerous reasons, um, <laughs> that just wasn't working out for us. So I had a friend in uh, Westcliff, Colorado, and I went out and visited him in 2016. It's the first time I'd ever been out here. And it's like, wow, it's really beautiful here. Wow, people are pretty laid back, at least compared to Florida. And everything's so clean. And it seemed like it was just a good place to, uh, just to be. And then I discovered Tinker Mill, a maker space. Um, while I had visited here in 2016, because I kind of explored part of the Front Range, and uh, I just realized, wow, this is where I want to live. So my wife and I moved here in 2017. My daughter followed us shortly after. She was in Denver. We live in Longmont. And it's a beautiful place. There are a lot of favorite things about Longmont. Um, there seems to be a lot going on here in, you know, in terms of opportunities for making things, for art, for culture. There's a lot of uh, political act. A lot of people seem to really be concerned about you know, how Longmont will evolve over the next 10 years. Um, I think there's city pride here. Um, and, you know, in terms of a location, it's fantastic. You know, I can drive for eight, nine minutes and be in a beautiful setting without any humans around and see the mountains and see the sky and it's, it's just great. What's your favorite memory? Ah, my favorite memory. Oh, that's a good question. It's probably when I proposed to my wife. That was pretty cool. I think I'd known her for about eight months, seven months. But I knew she was the one after four months. How did you propose? <laughs> well, we had just watched a movie. The movie was called Rambling Rose. Rambling Rose. It was a romantic movie. <clears throat> we were in Boston, and after the movie, we were walking out to the theater and just about ready to cross a really busy street. And uh, when it was just clear enough to start walking across, I said, hey, would you marry me? And she thought it was a rhetorical question. And she said, well, what? And I said, no, really, would you marry me? And I waited for the answer because we had to navigate traffic at that point. And by the time we crossed the street, she nodded. She was a little bit speechless, but she nodded. Then we had a couple drinks at the bar. <laughs> and yeah, we uh, solidified our commitment. And we've been together for 29, married for 29, together for 31. That's a long time. What's something about yourself that you're the most proud of? I'm proud of my ability to visualize things. I have a really good ability to, um, like I like to do photography, I like to draw, things like that. And I, and I've really developed the skill to be able to visualize what I want to do before I even press a shutter button or before I pick up a pencil. And that's a skill I've been you know, working through ever since I was a little boy. How would people describe you? I think they describe me as being um, kind of quirky, funny, um, nice, artistic, creative, imaginative, short, <laughs> bald. <laughs> I have a lot of integrity. I mean, I really will not compromise unless somebody can really make a good case. I think ethics are very important, uh, having a good um, moral compass. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good to my friends. I mean, I think I kind of wear my personality <laughs> pretty openly. Uh, I, in fact, I think I have a tendency to be um, a little too candid, maybe. And maybe that's kind of uh, disarming to some. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, there's so many things. Well, I get a kick out of my dog.
Freddie. I love taking pictures. Um, I love anything that has to do with reading about visual perception, photography. Um, I love history. Um, I love climbing, uh, hiking. I mean, <laughs> you live in Colorado. <laughs> There's certainly a lot of great opportunities to hike, to commune with nature. I just really do not like to get bored. I think boredom leads to very bad things. <laughs> so I try to keep busy. And I mean, shit, man. I, I mean, I like crossword puzzles. I like um, games. Um, I like movies. I'm really into movies, especially stuff that's a little more off the beaten path than uh, the products that come out of Hollywood. Not to say all Hollywood movies are not worth watching, because there certainly are some wonderful ones, but I don't want to babble about that anymore. I'm probably losing your interest. What's your favorite restaurant in Walmart? My kitchen. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, one thing that happened over the uh, pandemic was that I uh, really started upping my uh, culinary arts. And, you know, <laughs> I just like to cook. And when I go to a restaurant, um, it's rare that I feel that I could not have made something tastier at home. Do you like who you are right now? Yes. Uh, I'll tell you, I love being uh, in my early 60s. It's just such a great era. I mean, sure, there's the mortality thing, but you just push that to the side. Don't think about it. Um, and, you know, just being 62, 63, well, I'll be 63 in this time. It's great. Yeah, I just feel like I've lived long enough to have seen a lot of things and I can identify a lot of patterns in history and politics uh, with people I meet, understanding where they are in their life development and life's journey. And it's, you know, I've got a nice life. You know, I've got a great wife, a, a great dog. I like where I live, good friends. It's a very comfortable place. And I don't, you know, if I do something embarrassing, it won't stay with me for three weeks <laughs> like I made when I was in my 20s. You know, things just kind of fly by. And I also think that it's made me a lot more uh, willing to get involved in the community, be, uh, you know, just a positive cog in society.